going on? Welcome to another video. Welcome to a brand new video, my friends. We're going to be going over my five tips for more happiness in your life. Number one, why I'm sitting at my desk right now is I usually been having my breakfast like at my desk um, as of lately is to, to be productive, right? I am a firm believer that if you're not keeping your mind busy on things or in general, if you're not staying physically busy, it can be very easy for you to think about negative shit. Think about, uh, overthink a lot, right? Um, and I think a lot of people struggle with overthinking for sure. Um, and the only way to cure overthinking is to literally act on everything, right? And if you're thinking about constant problems all the time, you need to understand that like, hey, you don't, as of right now, like watching this video, what's your problem? What's your problem? You don't have a problem in the present. A problem is something that you're thinking about in the future or something that thinking about that you thought that happened in the past. So it's not, it should not bother you in the present moment. And I know that sounds like, like, I, I don't know how to even explain that. You might say, like, oh, you, that's stupid. Like, uh, but like, I'm serious. Like, there, what are you dealing with right now? Absolutely nothing. I'm not dealing with anything right now. If there's anything I had to deal with, it's something in the future. So I don't let that bother me, right? So stay productive, that's number one. And my biggest tip for you to stay productive is to write down three main tasks for the day. I do this every single morning in my planner right here. Um, and if I don't complete these three tasks before the day ends, I didn't win the day. I will not let myself go to bed. I will not let myself close out the day if I don't complete these three tasks. Now I have other to-do list items to do throughout the day, but if I need to complete these top three in order for me to say, hey, it was a productive day, right? And in reality, I don't want a single day to go by in my life to where I can't go to bed and say, yo, I fucking crushed it today, right? And that's gonna bring me a lot of fulfillment and a lot of happiness just knowing that I'm moving. I wanna give a shout out to Nick. Um, within Reach Greens. These are, uh, if, you, if you're wondering how to get them, they're only available to me and Nick's clients, so. I guess, honestly, dude, the, the biggest benefit of being a Beyond Bill client or Team IK client is you get to have uh, really good greens, apple pie flavor. Um, but I wanted to say, you know, productivity, right? What does it really do for you? And if I'm honest, if I had to think about it after I was kind of like telling you guys, yeah, it brings happiness, but when I'm productive, it boosts my confidence. Right? It motivates me. It builds momentum. It builds self-esteem. There's, there's nothing more to build your self-esteem than just to get shit done. God, I'm so motivational. All right, I'm gonna drink this and then we're gonna go get some sick content, dude. All right, guys, number two. All right, we're here in uh, River Oaks. We're about to get some shooting done. This is the fit we got tops from Zara, we got these jeans from B Saint, and just a good, just a good casual winter fit, you know? But um, anyways, I wanna talk about tip number two for more happiness, and that's just actively engage your mind, right? That's for you to actually spend time learning something new, whether that's listening to a podcast, whether that's reading a book, whether that's watching a valuable video like you're doing right now, you're actively engaging your mind right now. And the cool thing is, it's like, think about like the, when you're caught up in negative thought or if you're someone right now that's overthinking or caught up in negative thought, if you actively engage your mind to do something productive, to actually learn something, right? It's a choice, right? It, you have a choice to do that instead of just being doing something mindless and watching a Netflix show. Don't get me wrong, there's a time and place for that. I mean, that's all you're doing. Ask yourself, am I getting better? Am I learning more? Am I developing a better mindset? So do shit to actively engage this, okay? You know what really pesters me is when you know, you know there's something that you need to improve upon upon your life, but you're not actually making an active conscious decision to actually do that, right? You're saying, oh, you know, like, I, I suck at this, or I'm not good at that, because like, oh, I'm just this way because it's the way I am. No, it's fucking not. Change yourself. Read a book on how to improve yourself. <laughs> All right, guys. Number three. And I, if you're not doing any of these, you gotta really, really evaluate your life. But this one is most important. This one I do every single morning. I set aside five minutes every single day to do it. Practice gratitude. It doesn't mean you need to set aside time in the morning, even though that's extremely powerful. But if you're not thankful for the little shit, and I mean the little things, the friendships, the relationships in your life, everything that's going good, right? You need to understand that all the positive in your life will always outweigh the bad. No matter how much quote unquote bad stuff you got going on, Positive's always gonna outweigh it. 
And if you don't actually take time to celebrate your little wins of life, celebrate progress, and be thankful for the little things, you literally will have a lack of fulfilled existence. You will feel like you have nothing all the time, and that is one of the most unhappiest states you can possibly be in. Number four, it's gonna be give value. Honestly, if like to be completely honest with you guys, what has honestly brought me the most happiness in my life is the fact that my job just literally revolves around giving people value. Honestly, it, it revolves around helping people change their lives. And so, doesn't necessarily mean that you need to be a fitness coach, doesn't need to be, you don't need to be a mentor, or, but you can give someone value and it doesn't, it doesn't need to be tangible, it doesn't need to be financial, it could literally be as easy as a random 10 minute FaceTime call, right? It's as simple as that. It could be just about thinking about someone, just sending someone a text, right? Calling a family member that you haven't talked to in a long time. 10 out of 10, that's always gonna bring you a smile to your face if you do something for someone, right? Simple as like holding the door for someone, just give value, right? And just tr just lend a helping hand um, all the time. And if you're if you're if you're good at something, right? I, I promise you that you will find happiness in your life when you can find a way to have your talents serve the world. So uh, let me tell you number five here, okay? Super Outback, new car, sold the GTR for it, all wheel drive. It's got driving lane assistance, right? Look at all this room, okay? It's comfortable, I got room in the back, I can fit my whole family back here, you know what I mean? There's something about a Subaru. It's a really, it really just brings pure happiness into your life. Obviously, I'm joking. Number five is gonna be some, enjoy something that money can't buy. If you wonder where the GTR is right now, um, it is getting ceramic coated, it's getting the mirrors painted, just a few things done to it, uh, so they're lending me this car. But, that's enjoy something that money can't buy. That means not a car. That means not anything that you have to pay for, but the simple and little things. It could be like listening to music. It could be like reading a book. It could be going on a walk. It could be walking your dogs, right? Playing with your dogs. Music festivals. Technically, you kind of had to buy that, but in a sense, it's like not really something that like you tangibly get. It's an experience. Um, and experiences in general. I, I will always never ever regret paying for an experience, paying for a travel experience or anything like that. But it doesn't even need to be that. It could be, like I said, as simple as playing with your dogs, playing with your kids, right? Um, that will bring you genuine happiness, but it needs to be something that you do with it with purpose. It needs to be something that you do daily. And I promise you, if you implement these five things into your life daily, you will find more happiness in your life. Because you have a choice to do these five things daily, okay? Now, you might feel like, life is just happening to you and it fucking sucks right now and you're unhappy right it's not happening to you it's happening for you right so i watch this video take away from it and change your freaking life and i'll see you in the next one bye my mastermind